In today's episode, we're going to be spray painting our 1200 square foot basement ceiling from bare wood to a beautiful matte black. Stay tuned and watch the full video and we hope you enjoy. All right, so two hours later, we are actually headed to Home Depot. It is raining, um, but we have a list of what we need, so hopefully we can stay focused. Yes, Home Depot again. <laughs> oh, I wonder if we gotta move stuff around in the uh, those wire sticks. I don't wanna mess with those wires. No, we're not gonna, I'm not gonna move them. Just, you might need to nail them up. Before, yeah, maybe. Uh, keep them from uh, falling. <laughs> and present us. Present them fall. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know that scripture? I'm gonna let you decide so you can get familiar with the mm, them glutes. Huh? He trying to pay $15.97 for these fancy ones when we can get these shield and protect. Eventually, we will change our thermostat. Explain that you're a tech guy and so. Oh, yeah, I'm a tech, so I like. Mm. I like technology, um, and I'm always monitoring the temperature at the house. He is, because, so, listen, our bill was uh, almost $500. This current bill for April 2023 was how much? 230 what? Like 230 something. Glory. This is not Toys R Us. This is nice. These references are classic. How many of y'all remember Toys R Us? Like, whether you were a kid and you shopped in the store, you remember the commercials with the draft, like, that was everything. For me, it was Toys R Us and Discovery Zone. Y'all remember Discovery Zone? birthday happy birthday <laughs> to you to you all right so this is the magnum project painter plus true airless by greco and quick start guide which we will definitely be needing i know it ain't gonna be no quick start all right oh it already comes assembled oh that's good so lift the prime spray jesus just for some cable management this goes in here ready ready all right let's do it mm. help us a little all right so submerge suction to into paint and turn the power switch on Watch for paint to come out of the drain tube and turn the power switch off. Oh. The paint oh. is dripping out. Water was coming out, which was okay, but then the paint is coming out. So I think we're supposed to tighten that little red thing. I think that little red cap was there to come off to attach oh, to, to that. Oh, this. Okay. It engage trigger lock. Point gun into waist pail, pull and hold trigger. We got that, now we're supposed to put this into the spray position. All right, point the gun into the waist pail, pull the hold trigger, lower prime to spray and power on. All right. This should be spraying that drizzling. Okay. So we don't have it locked. Uh, there we go. There we go. All right. Okay. Thank you, God. Disclaimer. We don't have to worry about the walls because we're gonna paint those a dark gray. So even though it might be some residue of black, it doesn't matter. This is the paint that Home Depot sells. They don't sell it in the store, so you would have to order this online. We got two buckets. So, these are the respirators we got from Home Depot the other day. So we decided to do a test area. We did decide to go ahead and use the painter's plastic. And actually, it turned out to be the best decision that we made. And then Anthony is going to come behind and he's going to try it. Anthony decided he wanted to listen to some music. I knew our video would be flagged. All right, so update. But this is looking pretty good. It's coming together. This is one section, so 
most of it is just trying to get um everything prepped and once you get everything prepped you can start rolling so this is the first time using this for us so it takes us a little second to get going it's a learning curve yeah it's a learning curve but now look at that, that look at looks this. really good so when the rest of it's done it's gonna look very nice good morning y'all and welcome back to day two I am officially, I am officially by myself today. My husband is at a, my husband is at a men's retreat and he's going to be enjoying himself this weekend. And I figured I would attempt to tackle during the rest of the basement. Like we said in part one, we have so many nooks and crannies. It's not just an open canvas just for us to just spray paint. We have to go through pipes and wiring and tubing and all that kind of stuff. This area is going to be a little faded because we didn't do two coats. We didn't really finish. We kind of ended um, in the last video, part one. But this is the rest of what I have to finish. Now you see this, like this is kind of open, more of a typical um, basement ceiling. So I think this is going to be easy. I think. So I'll probably stop here with this vent or pipe because this that whole section. <laughs> so probably we may put up sheetrock from here to here. I feel a pressing to go to Target. So, all right, let's get started. Now, after this, honey, I was on a roll like nobody can stop me. I mean, nobody can get in my way. Nobody can hinder me. I mean, what you say? <laughs> So here you just see me spray painting the area. It was much easier than the kitchen area with all the wires and pipes and cords and coaxial cables. So this open area was super easy. So it did not take me as long. So you just see me spray painting uh, the, the actual ceiling and then the boards in between, the actual piping that um, runs along the ventilation system. Like y'all, this is super easy. I know my glasses are probably black, but that's okay. All right, hands in the air, vertically. Both arms should be parallel to each other. You, fill this bag with clean, unmarked bills. But first, fix that notepad so it's at a right angle with the corner of your desk. So it is the very next weekend, May 13th to be exact. So we decided we were just going to stop where I ended. I think it looks really, really good from the bare wood and I'll put up a video of how it looked when we first moved in. If you didn't see, because I didn't post the empty house tour, I literally just found the footage. Um, I'll put a link in the description box if you want to check that out, but it looks really good. I think we made a great decision by purchasing a sprayer and doing the matte black in the ceiling versus just leaving the bare wood or trying to spend all that money with drywall or drop ceiling. Like, like I said in the earlier part of the video, it's just too, our ceilings are just too low. Um, but it looks great. Let me know in the comment section if you guys like the matte black over just the bare wood. We actually decided not to paint the area above the air hockey table because it was just pulling out the sprayer again. No, um, trying to roll it. That didn't work. So we're going to figure out something else to do at a later date, but the majority of the basement is done like well over three fourths. That section that I'm pointing at above the air hockey table is what I'm referring to. And then in that mouse trap area in the corner, we're just going to completely divide that from the edge of the wall all the way to the other end. So you won't even see that. Probably build a wall or partition, something like that. I would appreciate if you would drop a comment to let me know what you guys think overall, the before and the after. Um, don't let your heart be troubled about the overspray. I know I have pressed the issue that we don't have to worry about that because we're gonna come back prime and paint that wall a very nice gray. But consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoy the content that we've put out so far. We have, I think, maybe like 50 or 55 projects. But consider subscribing, like the video, smash that notification bell. And until next time, we'll see you in the next video.